hello youtube and welcome to this video in this video we're gonna learn how we can uh, edit a pre-made dll file in other words we, we will learn how we can encode or encode and decode a dll file so these are my experiment dll files so i'm gonna open the jetbrains.peak 2019 it is a free software i'm gonna link it down in the description box So it's now open. And I have already opened the drag assembly. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to show you how to add it. You can open this drag assembly like this. And here the DLL file is open inside this here is my class here is my solution name and here is my class so i'm gonna double click it and it is now decode so you can see this now i'm gonna de i'm gonna try to decode this other dll file so calculator and it has also been decoded so here is the solution name and here is the class so here are my methods these both the dll file i have shown in my previous video so now you can see that i have decoded them successfully First I encoded them with Visual Studio, now I decoded them with .peak. So you copy this and run the Visual Studio. And create new project. let's say windows form no the class library we're gonna make a project of type class library and .NET framework and we leave the name and now our class library has been made so what i can do is i have already copied the code i'm gonna paste it here now i'm gonna make the changes whatever changes i want to i can make them i have deleted the class by mistake so i, I have pasted it pasted all of the code here now i can edit whatever i want anything anything like the message box it will not work since it's not a windows form application it's a class library application so i have to give the dll file here the reference here so here is windows form okay now it is working so i can edit whatever i want and then to encode it again just click start and build succeeded so a new dll file would be created in the projects So here in the project, so here you can see the new DLL file is created as class library one. So this is how you decode and encode a DLL file which is pre-made, which is already made. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and like the video and subscribe the channel. See you next time.